Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Joshua and um, I'm the CEO of JC Consult. Um, last week um, I posted a video about um, the, how to fill DS260 when you become a winner. The results will be released next week, Saturday, which is May 6th. So um, I posted a video on YouTube and some people came on in my comment section and they they made comments that I should prepare. I should they they have been scheduled for an interview, and um, I should prepare some documents. I should help them with the list of documents they will need for their interview. So today I'm here to um, speak about the list of documents you will need when you are when you are a DV lot winner and you're being scheduled for an interview. So first of all, you need a passport. That's the first requirement. If you are a DV lottery winner and you'll be traveling to the US very soon and you're going for your interview, first of all, you will need your passport, your traveling passport. Um, it looks like most people are always waiting for an opportunity to come their way before they will apply for a passport. But please, right now, passport are very, um, there's first on the system and you need to get your passport as soon as possible. You don't need to wait till you win the lottery before you apply for your passport because it's going to be very expensive when applying for your express passport. So the first document you need is a passport to fill your DS-263 um, is a visa application. And the second document you need is a birth certificate. Um, per the rules in Ghana, you need a birth certificate before you can apply for your passport, which is the new biometric birth certificate. Um, the third document you need when you are a DV lottery winner, the document you need to prepare for your interview is the marriage certificate. So if you apply for the lottery as a, a married as a married couple or you apply that you are married and you are being selected, if you're going for your interview, you need to go with your marriage certificate. And the fourth document, um, any other document reflecting name of change. That is, if you have changed your name in your documents, some people, they have different name in their certificate. Uh, let's say the OASIS results, they have a different name. And when you're applying the lottery, they made a mistake. So if there's a mistake on your, um, your name, so you need to go with an affidavit. Um, I think affidavit from a lawyer or any legal firm. The fifth document you need is an American size photograph with a white background. When you're being selected for the DV lottery and you are preparing for your interview, you need to take an American size passport picture. And the American size is 600 by 600 with a white background. Most photographers don't even know the American size. The American size is 600 by 600. So if you go to any photographer, but please go ahead to a professional photographer to assist you with the um, the american size passport picture the sixth document you need as you are preparing for your interview is an evidence of what required education or work experience is when you win the lottery you need to fill ds260 and if you are filling the ds260 you need to also um, as part of the requirements you need to fill a part where you if you you are, you are in school you need to fill a part where we, we call it education and if you are working, you need to tell them about your working experience. So if you are, or if you have completed school, you need to show a certificate. So if you're done with senior high school, that is the minimum requirement. Because if you're applying for the lottery, the minimum requirement is you should have completed senior high school and you have your senior high school certificate. So if you are going for your interview, you need to go with your WASI certificate or your WASI results. And if by God's grace you're able to find out your education to the university and you are going for your interview, you need to go with your um, university transcript and as well as your certificate. And if by if after high school, you couldn't continue, but you chance on an, um, any job, whether being carpentry, um, mason, hairdressing, or whatever, any job that you did, you just need to go to the interview with a certificate to prove the work that you do. But at least you should have a two years minimum of what work experience yes and the seventh document you need as you are preparing for your interview is 
police report or police certificate. Um, mostly, the police certificate expires in six months' time. So it's advisable that you, you, you should be scheduled for an interview before you go for the police report. Because I know people, because I think my first winner, when she won, I, I gave her all these lists and she went ahead and, and got, she got her police certificate. But after getting the police certificate, it got a spa because she was being scheduled for interview after a year, after we filled the DS-260. So if you are, as part of the requirements, which is the police report, you need to wait till you are being scheduled. Or is you going to, you're going to, she did the first police report, it got expired after six months, and she had to pay for it, another, another police report, which is extra money. So if you want to save money, just wait, and you're being scheduled for an interview, then you can go ahead and what? Um, get your police report. The eighth document you need is um, court or prison record. Let's say you've ever had any court or, or you've been jailed or you've been put in a prison or whatever. You need to go there with um, a police record or court or prison record, sorry. Number nine, but you need a military record. Let's say you're in Ghana, you serve in the military because the U.S. Army, they're always recruiting. So if you serve in Ghana in any form of, or any army job that you did or in the military, you need to go for your inter interview with what? A certificate or any document that proves that you are out in the military in Ghana. And the tenth document is what? Deportation paper. Let's say you traveled into any other country and you've been deported. So if you're going, you are a lottery winner and you're going for the interview and you've ever been deported, you need to what, um, go with your deportation what, documents or deportation paper. The 11th document you need is um, original documents. I think this is just a reminder. You, if, whatever all the documents I've listed, please go with the original. If you go with the fake, they're going to deny you. Go with the all original passport, go with the original passport, go with the original birth certificate, or a WASI certificate, your transcript certificate, your university certificate, go with the original. Don't go with photocopies because you're going to be denied if you go with what? Um, the photocopied ones. And the 12th document you need is translations. Let's say you are in a French speaking country or any other country except English. Because the US, they speak English, the official language is English. So if you you are in any country, you speak any other language aside English, please, you need to, all your documents you are sending to the interview, you need a translation of all them. But as you are going, you need to go with um, the original documents as well as what? The translations. And the 13th document you need as you are preparing for what? Your interview is your results of your medical examination. When you're being scheduled for an interview after filling the DS-260, automatically there will be a PDF of um, and your medical examination. You need to print it out and they say what? They have a special or um, a special hospital that you're supposed to go and do your medicals or have your medicals checked. So you, you're gonna download, or download that form, take it to that particular hospital. The doctor is going to run through the medication and it's going to give you what um, the reports, the results of the medical what, examination is in a sealed envelope. You don't need to open it. It's not for you. It's for the embassy. So you need to add that document. And the um, 14 document, which is the last thing, is when you are going for the interview, you need to go there with a visa fee of $330 per person. Um, if you're going there, you need to go with, so Ghana, you spend in cities, right? So if you're going for the interview, you need to convert exactly $330. I don't, know, I don't know the equivalence in cities. I've not done the calculation, but if you're going for the interview, you need exactly $330. You need to go, because if you're entering the U.S. Embassy, automatically you are entering America. Yes, if you're entering the U.S. Embassy, and if you're entering the America, America, they spend dollars. You don't spend cities. So you need to have $330 in your as part of your documents in an envelope not don't seal it just go with the money so if they request for it you take it from the envelope and you give it you hand over to them but if you're going as a married um, couple with your children so each of them so let's say you are married you go your wife is going to pay 330 you're also going to pay 330 dollars if 
you are you have children two or three each of them so if you are four four multiplied by 330 dollars that's the total sum of money you're supposed to what take it to the embassy as you are going for your interview and that's these are the 14 documents you need but as i'm ending this video let me chip in this um whatever information you put on the ds2 system which is a, your this application make sure you are abreast and familiar with every information because the interview is not any big deal because you are you are you are very soon becoming a, what, a u.s citizen they don't bother with questions as the non-immigrant visas as like the student visa tourist visa or visitors visa for that one they want to be sure that when you are done with your short stay in the u.s you come back home but you are going to stay in the u.s permanently so they don't really bother with a lot of questions when you're going for what your um, dv um, interview and you're being selected so whatever information you put on the ds which is a visa application that is the exact thing they were going to ask you you understand so if in a part of the part of your host you need to know something about your host because they can ask you how are you related to your host oh he's my uncle or he's a family friend or he's my brother he's my mother he's my this they want to know how you're related to what your host and the second thing is that they will ask you when was the last time you met your host oh my host comes to ghana every year every christmas he's here we celebrate christmas together in ghana so he always um uh, fly to ghana so the last time i met my um, host was in christmas which is last december yeah they want to know your interaction they'll ask when was the last time you heard oh i spoke to my host before even coming for what my interview they want to know your interaction with your, your host and they're gonna ask you the address of the host so let's say the address is um uh, let's say a person is living in new york maybe 147 street what what what, what avenue you need to know the state oh he's in you, you need to know information about what your host the name where the person is living the street name the state and the city that your host is in, your and the um the city your host is living in so these are the basic information you need to know about your host so um family i'll be ending the today's video i'll come live on saturday because saturday will be exactly one week for the results to be released on may 6th which is next week saturday so um coming saturday i'll be doing a new video and that the the title of my video will be that when the results are being released how do you check the results that will be my next video so um watch this space on saturday you catch me live on saturday as i explain to you um the website the official website of what uh, the dv where you can go and check your results and what do you need to check what do you need which details of yourself do you need to check your the results when the results are released next week saturday all the best to anyone who apply for the lottery and by god's grace as i said by god's grace for me my consultancy by the grace of god i know that people are going to win i've called them i've informed them to keep praying so we are just hoping that the the little grace god has given to me and that um the, the vision god has showed to me and the people who are going to win for my agency it will just come to pass for his name to be glorified so please um the, the devil lottery is changing lives all the people that i knew i know who won the lottery they are living, living better lives and through the DV lottery they have helped a lot of f their family members back in ghana and some of them have even sponsored them to what, travel to the u.s and when they got here they're living a better life so don't joke with the lottery when don't joke with it so catch you on saturday as i come live and explain how you're going to check your results when the results and those who have even lost their confirmation numbers how you're going to check the results when you don't have a confirmation number so catch you on saturday see you bye